All right, hello, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Uh, last time, uh, we explored Summers. Now, I forgot to explore one thing. I forgot to go inside the restaurant here and talk to the folks inside. I'll have the braised bow over mince baby leeks. Oh, you're not the waiter. Of course not. We're three little kids. Pizza? Please, we don't have such trash on our menu. Well, you're trash. I'm sorry. I love pizza. Pooweet! Ooh, sorry. No, I can't quite describe it. Drinking glass after glass of ice coffee. If that's what you want to call it. Saki! Burp. Ooh, excuse me. And, let's see. I have fake teeth, so I like soft foods. Not like rocks or stones. They're too hard. All right. And... Ah. That's what I was wanting to trigger right there. As pictures taken instantaneously on my dinner table. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. I don't know if I'm a soft food or not, but I am your dinner. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles! Yay! Wow, what a great photograph! It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Now I have to clean off my shoes. Alright, I like the atmosphere in this restaurant. They have good food too, and um... Nice timing on photographs and stuff. Hey, talking to people at another tailor restaurant is like breaking into their room and checking their drawers for valuables. Yeah, other people on adventure, important adventures do such things. But you have to admit, it's bizarre. That's right, we're JRPG and protagonists. That's what we do here, folks. Sorry, I forgot to get that last time out. And now, get some magic cake. See, that didn't take too long. I don't know who told you you came from far off just to eat my magic cake. Better believe it. I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all leftover materials. Well, that doesn't sound very good. This is a very mag special magic cake. Is this anything like that coffee in Saturn Valley? Andy had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. The Lam in the Far East. is home to... Hi. Nice to meet you. My pleasure, I'm Gary Joseph. Good to meet you. Good to see you. How you do? I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? I like to learn how to play a football. American football? Yes, please. Okay. Now, I'm going to throw the ball to you. Yes. Okay. That's right, the Palace of Borat, the Crown Prince. His connection to KD Football is interviewing Coach Joseph, as you said, on HBO, on the Ali G Show back in the day, folks. This guy's a lot more serious than the um, comedian Sasha Baron Cohen by an absolute long shot. Very serious character. Prince Borat, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Alright, so... Let's see, get here, we get... Brain food lunch, nice. We also get... A cup of life noodles, nice. We need that. And lastly... We get 
a brain stone. Uh, I don't know if that's useful or not, but anyway, use the treasures of Dalam as you wish. Well, we will. Go in peace. Go quickly. All right, what about you, pal? Hello. Is that you, Andy? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Or who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. I deposited four or sixty dollars in your bank account. Yeah, off screen I fought um, another one of those mad taxis and crazed signs. So I don't have a lot in the bank, but Borat only needs thirteen ninety, and nah, we'll save it later. You see, he's a save point because he has a telephone on his head. All right, moving on. Who's this girl here? Prince Borat, you're my favorite. <laughs> uh, as serious and, and as much of a dude as he looks like, I mean, he, he looks like somebody from Peanuts. Really a pissed off Peanuts character is what he looks like. Someone who looks like a pissed off Peanuts character, he gets all the girls, I tell you what. Because he's the crown prince, you know. Here's those elephants. Here's this guy right here. What is their mortality? It is everlasting. Is it? Everlasting life. Sorry. Mm -hmm. The world may never know. Yeah, Coach Joseph wasn't too happy about the um, interview that Borat had with him in real life there. Preet poop. Okay, whatever that means. Oh, Prince Borat, I'm surprised you're not in training. Seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Alright. Well, what's in this house? Please come in and look around the house as much as you want. Alright. We get... Whoa, there's a bottle of water. Nice. Okay. Another girl. She want to play with me too? Yes, she does. Let's play with her. Happy me. Patty cake, patty cake. All right. All right, let's go in here. I just roasted some garlic and ate it. So the room still stinks. Well, lovely. I like garlic bread. You know, you can never go wrong with the smell of garlic bread. Now, too much garlic on the other hand, yeah, you'll uh, drive away vampires, so I guess that's good. Oh, I heard Prince Borat is deeply into moo training. That's right. We uh, want to look like a cow. Yes. And I'll take your stuff. Thank you. I get a jar of deli sauce. Whatever that is, but I'm sure it's good. You know what? You know that you do everything well, right? Do do. Oops. Uh, you know that you do do everything well. Oh, that's because his canon name is Poo. Get it? Ha ha. Say, Prince Borat, are you still popular with girls? It seems like I am. Even though I'm trying to live a more serious lifestyle, I can't keep them away from me. All right. Who are you? No, I'm talking to you. You want, you're such a hunk. Get away from the sign. I want to read the sign. Uh, I want you to read me, though. Don't. All right. I get to read the sign. What? I'm trying to read the sign. Thank you. Dollar restaurant. We accept dollars. Too bad I don't have any money. Let's see, I get a bowl of rice gruel. Yeah, that don't sound too good. Rice is good, gruel not so much. Uh, yeah, bottle of water, yay. We serve water, rice gruel, and those sorts of things. What would you like? I yeah, got all this already. Rain food lunch is really good. Now, what do you want? I wish I could recover my PP just by drinking water. Hmm. 
You need a really good um, filtration system for that, folks. By the way, what is PP? Yeah, exactly. Over here, we get statues of rabbits blocking our way. All right. All right, so as we continue on here, this is Moo the play. Oh, it wasn't Moo training. It's Moo training, nothingness. The train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Moo, and pass through. Moo is Moo. All right, you have nice eyes. You must be Prince Borat. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. Wee, 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 wee. Yeah, uh, during the early on of my Terradigma Let's Play, um, I was, I had research the etymology of Moo because I just wasn't sure. All right, here we go. Moo training. Here we go. Ah, Prince Borat. I have a message from your master. He sent me to tell you you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Borat, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Master Prince. No! Uh, yeah, that just reminds me of um, Mad TV, where um, they had Lord of the Rings versus Cold Mountain on there. And, and Gollum was lying to Frodo, giving him wrong answers. And then Sam is all like, Can't you see, Master Frodo? He's trying to trick you. Yeah, she's trying to trick me. Get away! Your Highness must give up this trial now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. Would I lie? Hmm. Don't think so. Oh, what's that? That looks scary, folks. That looks real scary. This... This, uh, following scene is very dark. So, if you're, uh, not into, like, really dark graphic stuff, uh, I suggest you skip ahead, uh, to the point in, in the description below. I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I'm going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Well, if I have to advance the plot of the game, yes, I do. Ouch! I can't walk. Well, that sucks. Next, I'll tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. Taking of your arms. Do you accept this? Well, again, if I have to advance the plot, Sure, why not? Ouch. Prince Borat. Without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. Do not mind me taking your hearing away, do you? Again. If I have to advance the plot, then why not? Prince Borat, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now, 
and return to the palace. Alright. Well, I got my legs, got my arms, got my eyes, got my ears. Yay, I even got my mind back. Yay. Whew. Guess I've completed the moon training. I can go in and out of moon trance or whatever. Hey, so we don't need to talk to anybody else. Let's go straight back to the palace. I know y'all are all hot for me, but I gotta go back to the master. The master calls, even though I'm the crown prince. Anyways. I am proud. You have completed your mood training. There is nothing more to teach you from the Holy Writings. Prince Borat, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Andy is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Borat. Now that you've completed your training, search out Andy at once. He will teach you, he will teach you how to catch a football. For all beings, the Earth herself, I pray for the growth in the might of the four. And thanks to the mood training, we gain a level offense by seven, defense by eight, speed by three, vitality by one, IQ by one, HP by 14, PP by five, and I get shield beta, and now I'm 17. I didn't have to fight a single battle, HP by one, and I get teleport alpha, oh, level 18. Guts by one, luck by one, HP by three, PP by two, and teleport beta. We have not seen that one yet, folks. All that, we didn't even, uh, here's our, yay. Andy, I'm coming for you. My name is Borat. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Andy. I will obey Andy. Yes, master. Andy, my life is in your hands. Ah, I eat some magic cake and I get a new party member. How awesome is that, folks? Borat joined you. All right. Now, let's go. In order to explain um, what to do next... See that tiny ruby up on a Borat screen there? You remember uh, last episode we went to the dinosaur museum and he said he wouldn't let us in if and only if uh, we had some kind of jewel to trade with him? Guess what, folks? We have a jewel to trade. Yeah, yeah. $3 it has, $12. You suck. You, you, uh, sure. I think I got lots of money. Need to deposit this money. All right, we've already talked to these folks. All right, we got that tiny ruby. So, oh, the samurai kid is here. Yes. Such a good student. I'm impressed by your passion for learning. Come in. Thank you. Before we talk to him, we have two enemies. Yay, we only get to fight one. Yes. It's boss time. Boss one. This dude's pretty tough, folks. So don't take him lightly. I don't know what's, what works better. Freeze or thunder? Let's try freeze. Eric, uh, let's buy him out. And Borat, he can cast Freeze and Thunder Beta already. He can also cast Life Up Beta and Healing. And Shield, the third one, whatever that is. Okay. So let's go for Freeze. Three 
73. Oh, that's alright. 104, 138. Vulnerable to paralysis. Eric saw a present behind the enemy. Gets a mummy wrap. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could do that. Yes. Oh, okay, I guess. Alpha should be good enough. Um, beta. I ain't gonna do much to him, I don't think. And three forty-three. He is dead. Yay! We got mummy wrap. I don't know what that does. And look at all that experience points. How many levels is Boric gonna gain here? Level 19, offense by 2, defense by 1, vitality by 1, IQ by 1, P HP by 11, PP by 3. Level 20, that's two levels. Oh, baby, offense by 4. Oh, baby, defense by 3, speed by 1, guts by 1, vitality by 1, IQ by 1, HP by 15, PP by 5. Brass level is now 21. He's got three levels now. Defense by 1, speed by 1, luck by 1, HP by 3, PP by 1. And he gets Magnet Alpha. Yay, gain three levels, and he learns. But we're not done yet, folks. We got one more. Boss time, take two. Let's try paralysis. Freeze. Shoot. And freeze. 378. Solidified. That works. I don't know. Well, you have solidified and numb. Well, 70. And he's dead. Bye bye. Another 11,000 plus, and he gets another mummy wrap. 47 for Andy. Offense by 3, Guts by 1, Vitality by 1, IQ by 1, HP by 11, PP by 3. Now Katie levels up to 39. Excuse me, folks. Offense by 1, Speed by 1, Luck by 1, HP by 3, PP by 1. Eric's levels now 41, HP by 2. Borat gains 1 level. Offense by 3, Defense by 1, HP by 3, PP by 1. Borat gains 2 levels. Offense by 2, defense by 2, speed by 1, HP by 3, PP by 1. Nice. Everybody gains a level and Borat gains 2. Right, let's talk to him. Excellent. Do you feel like you're really experiencing the great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gem. Better believe it. That's 22,000 plus experience points. The other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. Oh, no. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. Got lots of money from him. He, he, he. I don't think he needed our uh, gem. He was just being ultra greedy. Or I read the hieroglyphs to fight against the invaders. We built this pyramid fortress. Okay. However, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be will return will be reborn. Oh, sorry. Our, yeah, that uh, Buddhism stuff. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time. <sighs> sorry if I'm yawning, folks. No, it's not the game. It's just me. And uh, build their evil stronghold. Place out of time is beyond the dark and is even farther beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded it is without light. Only one with the Hawkeye can pierce the dark. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Alan Alda. He can pierce the dark, folks. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. 
And we'll find out what those numbers and symbols mean when we get there. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Okay. We playing um what was that game that you play in arcades that, that dance dance revolution? That's it, I think. And there's a light bulb that goes off in um Pooh's head, I mean, uh, Borat's head. Andy, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. Alright. Yes, we felt... Yes, feels great. Let's go get out of here. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we know about Pokey. He sucks. I hate his guts. Oh! You got something else? Wait a sec. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. Yay! So I don't have to... I have to try to remember what it said. I mean, because the Dance Dance Revolution uh, thing looks pretty complicated there. Use it in your human civ class. Okay, sweet. All right, bye now. We get to fight him again? Darn. That was nice experience points. Too bad, so sad. All right, we've already talked to you. Guys, let's get out of here. And, alright. Where to go next? You gotta go to a pyramid first, right? Hello, is this Mr. Fork of the Scarab Cultural Museum? Doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something extraordinary that mere words could not do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon, talking to Mr. Fork. Yes, I'm Mr. Knife. I guess that would be too uh, graphic, folks. I'm from the Foresight Museum of Natural History. Oh, look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. Click beep. So we have to go to Foresight again. Before we do that, I just want to heal up. Um, now that we have um, Borat in our party, we don't have to go in a straight line. Let's go to Saturn Valley, because why not? Yeah, I want to go to Saturn Valley. So you don't have to run a straight line. That costs a little more PP. But that's okay, folks. And we get to go slumber for free. And I want to go buy some Horns of Life. I know we went through some couple episodes ago, it was no fun. Yeah, shop's up here. Alright, uh, you shopkeeper, I think, is you. Alright. Yay. Let's buy some Zoom. I'd like to have stock in Zoom. Yeah. Yeah, let's go give you... Yeah, I want to buy another one. Just in case, you never know, folks. Um, yeah. Because I know we went through a couple of them. No, I think we're good. Alright. Alright. I don't have enough room to teleport through there. So. Do I have enough room to teleport here or no? So I want to teleport to, um. Oops. I want to go. Oh yeah, we have to go to four side anyway. So let's go. Do we have enough room? Do we have enough room? Do we have enough room? Yes! Cost me 8 HP though, which is no bueno. And before we go anywhere, I want to go to the department store. Oh, whoop. 
Oops, did I pass it up? I don't think we got to talk to him. We, I'm very punctual at the time. Don't look like... Yeah, we, I think we did talk to him. I remember talking to him off screen. Uh, Alright, I'm not going to waste your time. Talking to him. There's the Monotoli building. There's our department store. Let's go. I want some big bottle rockets, that's why we're coming this way. And what is the mummy wrap anyway? Okay, yeah. You know what, let's give that to, um... Give that to uh, Mr. Borat. What else can we do? Let's give him the crack and soup also. Cause I want to buy a couple big bottle rockets. Sounds really good. Loud. What do you want? You know what I want. Big bottle rocket. Here goes one. Yes. Yeah, we're going to give them two of them. Nice. That'll be it. Let's go. Alrighty. Let's get on out of here, folks. Um, you're gonna need some money, but we're gonna give a good chunk of it away. Let's deposit. Oh, I already made some money just killing those two thingies. Let's see. Go with uh let's see let's keep a hundred dollars because we're gonna need a little bit of money and This way. Oh, you know what? We haven't talked to him. It was stupid of me to let Monotoli do whatever he wanted. We'll do our best to create an environment in which people can live safely. Well, that is your job, police officer. Sounds good to me. Alright. Um, where are you? Dinosaur Museum. Go. Hey, it's you over there. Get over here. Five dollars a head? You're more expensive than in summers. That's why I kept some money, folks. Alright, so let's go over here. I think we talked to these people a while back. Let's just talk to the important guy. You want to know about something extraordinary? Hmm. No, there's a new singer named Venus at the top of the theater. Could you bring her an autograph on an eraser? Then I'll show you something extraordinary. If you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if it's written on toilet paper. Well. Let's go to the top of the theater then. Oh, I might need a little more money than I thought. I forgot about the top of the theater. How much is a show ticket? Yeah, 30 bucks. Okay, we're good. Yeah, who's got the tickets? All right. 
Alright, let's go ahead and use it. Yay! Alright, we've already seen the show several episodes ago. We don't we're not gonna see it again. Yay! Oh, you're a friend of the Runaway Five. Better believe it. We helped them escape. Yes, you come to see Miss Venus. Don't let the other fans see you enter. Remember last time we tried entering and she just kind of brushed us off. Now let's talk to her. Yes, I still want that autograph. All right, on this banana peel. Here you go. Yay, we got the autograph. Borat's got it. Oh, and this is a bonus. Smack. Now... There's two ways to interpret that smack. You can think that she just smacked you upside the head, silly. Or she gave you a kiss smack. Take it either way you want, folks. So now we can go to the Dinosaur Museum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go talk to the expert dude again. Take 20 more of our dollars. All right, you want to know about something extraordinary? Yes. Hmm. You know, there's a new... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, crud. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got you that autograph. Yes, we did. Yeah, it's not on toilet paper, but it's almost as bad. The signed banana. You got it. The banana peel has an authentic Venus autograph. There's no doubt about it. Now, I don't know how you know. I'll tell you about something extraordinary. In the next room, there's a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, I found a huge monster rat. Not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out for yourself. Next time on Let's Play Earthbound.